they live under the same roof. It's always extremely hot in here. It's uncomfortable. Separated by a hallway. It gets winter cold. And about 15 degrees. You got half of the building sweltering, the other half are freezing. Ain't nobody comfortable here. Everybody got a complaint. And they are good complaints. First, Ernest Guzman's complaint, even before noon. It's going to get a lot hotter later. With three fans running at full speed. You got to be almost on top of it to, to even feel a little comfortable. And it's still hot air. Our thermometer clocks the inside of his apartment at about 90 degrees. My fish have got a better life than I do. <laughs> you know, they're more comfortable, I think. They look like they're nice and cool. I'm really envious of them. I'd like to jump in that tank because I know the water's cool. <laughs> Meanwhile, across the hallway... Like I'm sitting in somebody's freezer. Mozella Chase complains she has too much of a good thing. But sometimes it gets kind of cold up in here. You have to put on a sweater, a jacket, a coat, you know, and take a bedspread or something, you know, and wrap it around your legs and, you know, try to keep warm. With the fan turned off and the air vent mostly blocked from spewing cold air, her place is still a cool 75 degrees. At least she has some control over the cold. She says she can't imagine how her neighbors can stand the heat. I'm, I'm very comfortable. But if I had to go over there, well, are you on? Both sides claim to have one thing in common, though. You go down, you complain. Oh, I'm sorry, but it's nothing we can do about it. But officials at the Housing Authority, which runs this seniors-only complex, say the problem is new to them. I checked our work order system. We have not received any calls until this morning. It's possible, they say, that like the cooling system here, the communication process broke down as well. Unfortunately, at the start of the summer, you know, we try to spread ourselves all over the place and, and try to, to, to address all of the issues and all the complaints. Occasionally, some will fall through the crack. Jason Wheeler, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.